so hello guys this is only using transistor circuits and this is a circuit diagram of LED bar graph and it converts the rotation of the potentiometer into the sequentially lighting of LEDs so I am going to demonstrate you how it works if we increase the resistance we actually control the number of LEDs glowing at the output if I increase it slowly, you can see that LEDs light up slowly, indicating the current position of the potentiometer and also the resistance. So it's basically converting the resistance into frequency and that frequency is getting converted into number of LEDs glowing at the output. So if you have a sensor which converts sound into frequency so you don't need this timer IC555 and if you have a sensor which converts uh, li like light into resistance like LDR then you just need to replace this potentiometer with the LDR and then you can use it to indicate light intensity, sound intensity or anything that sort will just in indicate the strength of the magnitude this it will just indicate the strength of the signal which is coming it can be used to control the LEDs at the output like if and it can be also used to detect the angle like at this angle none of the LED goes at some angle two LEDs then in this way you can it, it can be used as a rotary encoder a rough rotary encoder obviously not precise because it's not digital but this circuit is very interesting and it came to my mind when I was playing with this IC4017 it uses two timer IC555 the fixed frequency or the clock uh, the fixed frequency is given to the clock pin which is very high that's why I've used a 0.1 microfarad capacitor and the one is the variable frequency which is given to the reset pin the reset frequency is varied here and by varying the reset frequency you are actually resetting the IC after after it just crosses this LED and it's very fast so you can just see one LED at the output glowing one LED at the output so if we decrease the frequency further by this variable resistance now I have decreased it even more now what happened that only three clock pulse are passed and the fourth one it's it's resetting at this point so it starts again and only only three are visible right now it's very fast actually it's because of the persistence of vision we cannot see the frequency it's in kilohertz so obviously your eyes cannot detect it so yes it's an interesting circuit and I have also made this circuit LED bar graph using transistors but the problem is you cannot increase the number of LEDs you need more transistors you but here if you increase to one IC you will increase the number of LEDs by nine so two ICs can be used to indicate 18 LEDs, 4, 9, 3 are 27 LEDs. So all you need to do is if you are increasing number of LEDs, just increase the frequency higher so that the flickering is not visible till it goes to the last LED so it not be should not be visible the flickering. So yes, the circuit diagram is given in the description and uh, also the working has been explained if you understand the it would be very good if you made it thanks for watching and like and subscribe